But the autopilot on a plane, isn't the autopilot largely AI driven? It is. It is taking in data that's being supplied. And certainly there have been instances where the failure to feed the proper data has caused crashes of airplanes as a result of that. But I guess in in the context of, of sort of really artificial intelligence, if you will, in other words, being able to be sort of creative in what it's doing and reading, I wouldn't put that because I really, the typical with an autopilot is there's input from the pilots themselves as to, you know, a setting of an altitude or whatever speeds and things like that, that they would do in directional headings, then takes information and follows that. But if you're thinking in it in the terms of having like either a drone or even this, you know, air taxi, which is going to have to maneuver itself intelligently around other buildings, around other, around other air taxis and so on then I think that's where it gets in. And this kind of, you know, not dissimilar to what they're trying to do with automobiles right now. You know, Tesla and others are trying to have sort of driverless vehicles. And so that to me is the main area where everybody's kind of trying to figure that out. And if you look at some of the big companies like Amazon and Google, particularly in the drone aspect, they are trying to really expand what's allowed, presently allowed under the law. 